Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Wednesday the 23rd of March 2022, which was yesterday in my region of the world, and normally and typically on a Wednesday is when Microsoft rolls out the latest dev channel build to Windows 11 Insiders. Now with yesterday's new flight, which was build 22581, which is the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build, Microsoft has made build 22581 available to both dev and beta channel insiders so if you're in the beta channel this is a great opportunity now for you to try out and test a whole lot of new features that were previously only available in the dev channel now the fact that uh, both the dev and beta channel insiders and testers have received the same build double two five eight one means that um, insiders now will have a very rare chance to switch channels so if you're in the dev channel Currently, um, as an example, you now have a window of opportunity to change channels and switch channels. But just be aware that you will only have until a new dev channel build rolls out. So you have a very limited time to do this. And um, until the next dev channel build rolls out gives you about a week or so to switch channels if that is what you would like to do. Now, one of the reasons that build 22581 uh, rolled out to the beta channel is that the dev channel uh, builds and releases have become much more experimental recently and that doesn't you know suit everyone and, and is not everyone's cup of tea so to speak so um the beta channel now will get those previous dev channel uh, features and the dev channel now moving forward um is going to be getting a whole lot of um experimental features that microsoft is already trying out and testing which doesn't suit everyone as mentioned now, uh, for beta channel uh, insiders and testers, uh, build 22581 comes with all of the new features mentioned previously in the dev channel as mentioned. And I have posted a couple of videos over the last couple of weeks regarding some of those features, those key highlights in the dev channel, um, and which you now are going to find in the beta channel. And I will leave links to those videos down below if you are interested. Now, it's also, just on a side note, it's also the first time now that Windows 11 version 22H2 uh, has made its way and has been rolled out to the beta channel. Now, as many of you know, Windows 11 version 22H2 will be the next and first feature update rolling out in the latter half of this year for Windows 11. And up until now, those features were in the dev channel. So now in the beta channel, the, the, the features you are going to get now um, a whole lot of those could possibly roll out in version 22H2 later on this year. Now, up until now, the beta channel had been testing the same updates as the, re as the release preview channel, which is the closest build preview build you will get before it rolls out to the stable version, which were just cumulative updates. So this is a nice opportunity now to test and try out a whole lot of new features rolling out in Windows 11 version 22H2. Now, just to mention a couple of those features uh, quickly um, as i have mentioned in previous videos but just to recap quickly that are now available in the beta channel you now have uh, folder support in the start menu and you can also now rename and edit the name of those folders in the start menu and then just another feature is the upgraded and updated task manager which as you can see um, supports the dark theme as well and then it has a whole lot of um, new redesign visually which I have posted on previously and uh, um, gets the fluent design dark theme as mentioned and all your options are now on the left hand side and a whole lot of other little changes which I have mentioned in a previous video and then also you have um, a new animations and uh, touch support uh, on touch screens um, which is a nice new upgrade if you are using um, Windows 11 on a touch screen device now, if you're in the dev channel, um, this means uh, if you're in the dev channel now with build 22581, basically um, uh, for dev channel insiders, there are no new features that they haven't seen previously uh, in uh, previous builds of the dev channel. And uh, um, there is one feature though that does come in build 22581, which is shared both in the dev channel and the beta channel with this recent flight which rolled out on the 23rd of March and that is the um, uh, tablet optimized taskbar feature which began rolling out with build 22563 
Both of uh, the Dev Channel and Beta Channels have this feature now in uh, build 22581, where um, uh, if you collapse your taskbar on a touchscreen device, um, uh, you can see it shows critical status icons only, and I have posted on this previously. And when you swipe up, or you can expand, the expanded state allows for easier touch interactions. So basically, when in the collapse state, uh, the taskbar is a lot smaller, and you only get critical status icons only. And in the expanded state, that obviously gives you your full taskbar. And then there are a whole lot of uh, new changes and improvements, too many to mention in this video, and a whole lot of fixes available in build 22581. But I will leave these release notes down below um, for you to go check out more in depth if you are interested. So just wanted to let you know, build 22581, as of yesterday, the 23rd of March, um, is now available to both Dev Channel and Beta Channel Insiders. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.